Harmony and Consolidated. It's Mr. Calvert again. Um, hope that you're having a good morning. I miss you all very much. Um, today I'm going to talk about an artist who is going to tie into your art assignment that I am sending out. So we'll make sure to get that done and send it in to me. I'd love to see what you guys are making. Um, we are going to be using iPads on this project if you can get the app to work. Otherwise, you can always make it on your um, sheet of paper too. Okay, and today our artist is Maya Hayuk. And Maya, she is an artist who is still living. So remember, we call her a contemporary artist. And she is 51 years old. And she is a muralist. And a muralist is somebody who typically paints on the sides of buildings or on the sides of walls. Now, she's a little bit different than a street artist. We've talked about them in the past. We know that they are artists who also paint on walls and buildings. But street artists do their work illegally. Whereas she is a muralist, so somebody hires her to come in and make a painting. Um, so she is fine painting on the sides of buildings. And she lives in Baltimore, Maryland, which is right here. Okay, we would be right here um, in the bottom of Wisconsin. Now, when we look at her works, there are really two different styles of artworks that she makes. And these first ones we're going to look at, they're very geometric. So we see a lot of straight lines. We see typically squares and diamond shapes in her work. Um, this work is very symmetrical too, so if I draw a line straight down the middle of it, the left side is going to look just like the right, kind of like a butterfly. We've talked about symmetry before. So I drew a line like right down here, this side looks just like this side. And because of the way she's using these straight lines, it actually kind of looks like it's woven. You see spots where um, you see colors, like here's a little bit of red, then that red disappears for a little bit, and then the red reappears, and then disappears and reappears. So it almost has this feeling like this has been woven, but it's just a lot of overlapping straight lines. Um, here's another one where the line is actually um, already going down the middle. Notice how similar the left side looks to the right. Um, so we see that symmetry. Notice that woven effect I talked about because of the overlapping of colors. And notice too, sometimes her paint actually runs. This is because she mixes a lot of water into her paint, so it gets really thin and runny. Um, and she's fine with that color kind of dripping down her paintings. It also, because it's so thin, it makes it so you can see other colors. Um, so you can almost, it starts to create like a sense of depth or space to her paintings because you start to get some of the colors showing through other colors. Like that yellow is showing through this orange right here. I mean, she kind of has this idea that um, there are a lot of bad things happening in the world, so um, the world's come, becoming kind of a darker place. So she feels like she has to use these really bright, vibrant neon colors to help um, make the world brighter, to make it feel more positive and happy. So she's really using her artwork for a good cause, trying to make people feel good by looking at her work. A couple more. And then she also does some of these geometric paintings that are a little bit different. Now, some of these ones are symmetrical. Some of them are not. Um, but these ones, you can see she's playing a lot more with shapes um, and less with lines. Like these last ones we've been looking at, she's really using a lot of lines to create her work. These ones, we can see she's using um, more shapes in her work. Okay, And you're going to be making your artwork today inspired by these um, next few that we're looking at by using shapes. You can use some lines if you want. Um, this one's got great symmetry, but you can see how she's changed the color of the symmetry on each side. Now, this is probably my favorite one that she's done in this style. Um, notice how she used a lot of these shapes. She's still using geometric shapes though, lots of overlapping. Um, so it makes her artwork seem really complex um, by her use of overlapping and things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed Maya Hayuk. She's going to be who you guys are making your art project on today. Um, remember to send those to me when you are done. Thanks.